Right now, the latest on the 38 studio scandal arguments just wrapping up related to the public release of depositions and other materials in the case. Today's court hearing comes after the House Oversight Committee said it wanted to interview key witnesses in the case, including Kurt Schilling, former Governor Don Kachiri, and former House Speaker Gordon Fox. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has been working the story. She joins us now live from Providence Superior Court. Patrick, as you mentioned, that hearing just wrapped up. We expect the judge to make a decision within the next 10 days. A Superior Court judge will have to decide whether to release depositions and other documents related to the case involving Kurt Schilling's failed video game company, 38 Studios. Some state lawmakers and the Providence Journal requested the documents under the open records law, but defendants in the case have asked that they remain confidential, arguing that depositions have not been filed in court and therefore are not public court records. Non-parties do not get unfiled materials. To, to have a selective disclosure of certain deposition transcripts to the public uh, when we're in the midst of numerous other deposition transcripts of other witnesses that would more fully and fairly inform the, the public's consideration of, of these matters, I think, is, is a, a much preferred outcome. There's more to the issue than whether or not these are public records of the court. The issue is, are they public records? And by the way, as far as I know, this is the only case ever in the United States where the agency that is being requested to produce the records is saying, we agree to produce them. And somebody's asking a court to prevent the agency from doing it. This is a unique situation. 38 Studios filed for bankruptcy, leaving taxpayers on the hook for the $75 million loan guarantee that was given to the video game company back in 2010. The state is suing Kurt Schilling and others to try to recover some of the losses. Also related to this case last night, the House Oversight Committee came up with a list of people they may subpoena to testify, including Kurt Schilling and former House Speaker Gordon Fox. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.